team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016-2017 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're doing number seven on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is a nice problem involving percentages. You'll see percentages used throughout the problem itself. When we think about percentages, I want you to think about percentages and, and really percents. And, and here we have the root here, percents. And I want you to think about part to whole relationships. So I'm going to write down here part over whole. And I want you to oh, just keep this in mind. This is going to be a good anchor. If I had my whole here always equals 100%. And if I asked you what part of the whole is shaded, I'm hoping you'd say one fourth or 25% of the whole is shaded. We're going to use this, this as an anchor to think about percentages. Um, and we're going to try and uh, use this to evaluate A, B, C, and D. The question itself asks you to uh, it asks you to evaluate each of these statements. Here's the question: It says, which of the following statements involving percentages is true? Each one of these statements on percentages A, B, C, and D is its own separate problem, which means you've got to solve four problems. And on these exams, you have like three to five minutes to solve each problem, so you got to move really fast, team. We're going to slow it down. We're going to take more than four minutes to solve this. But, but to do that, I want you to try as much as possible, when you think of percentages, to anchor it into some sort of part-to-whole relationship. That will help organize the information and solve it very quickly. Okay? So let's start. I'm going to start uh, in my evaluation process. I'm going to start with D today and work upwards. Let's, let's go. Number D. D is about a town. So a town spent 36% of its annual budget on public safety and 10% on public works projects. The town spent 46% on its annual budget on public safety and public works projects. We're evaluating if this is accurate. If I use this, this uh, part to whole understanding here, I could say that the whole or 100% is, is the budget, right? The annual budget. Now, in this problem here, it says that 36% is for public safety and 10% is for public works projects. So collectively, out of the whole, if I added up the 36% plus the 10%, 36% plus the 10%, out of the whole, we are actually using 46% of the budget. Does that make sense, team? This portion right here represents 46% of the budget. It's D is the answer. I solved that quickly and I use this model here just to reinforce the parts that make up the whole. So actually D, we just solved it. We just came up with the answer real quick. D is the answer. I still have to do C, B, and A. So let's do that real quick. Let's evaluate these and also use this as an anchor. Let's go to C. It says, in a particular county, 15% of the population is over 65 years old, 40% is 35 to 65 years old, 30% is 18 to 34 years old, and 20% is under 18 years old. Let's do the partial relationship thing again. The whole is equal to the, the population. It's equal to 100% of the population. And when I see a problem like this where it lays out all the parts of the whole, one way to evaluate if it's true is if all the parts equal 100% of the whole. So let's just let's just evaluate that real quick. Just uh, 15% plus 40% plus 30% plus 20%. Let's just add these up real quick and see if they in fact add up. They should add up to 100%. Well, if I add up 15 here, 5 plus 3 zero is a 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus a 4 is 9. Plus a 1 is uh, 10. So I have 100 and I, I when I add up all the parts, <gasps> We get all the parts add up to 105%, and they're supposed to add up to 100% of the whole. Now look, that doesn't make sense. When you add up all your parts, they have to equal 100%. So for that reason, we could cross out C, because C doesn't work. The parts are greater than the whole. We cross it out. A person who has two credit cards pays 50% of the first credit card bill of $648 and 45% of the second credit card bill of $362. The person paid 95% of the total $1,000 owed. Let's look at the numbers closely. 
it's saying that they spent 50% on the first one and 45% on the second one. Let's just make the 45% 50% just to make the math easier, all right? Now, if we think about it, 50% um, of 648 and roughly, just work with me on this, 50% of the 352, they're only paying really half of this and half of this. So if I, I could represent that in a pie chart, 600, this is roughly, they both add up to $1,000, by the way. This is roughly two-thirds. This is roughly two-thirds. The 648 is approximately 66% approximately of the whole. And the 352 is approximately 33% of the whole, a little bit more, 34%. So, so doing this really quickly, right, they only, spent, they only paid half of this bill and half of this bill. So guess what? They only paid approximate, approximately 50% of the whole bill. They didn't pay 95% of the bill. That's not how bills work. <laughs> I wish it was. We cross out A. A doesn't work. The numbers don't, the numbers don't work. All right, team, let's look at B real quick. B is a totally different problem. It involves compound interest, and I'll read it over, and we'll just talk about it real quickly, but this would be another problem, a whole other unit of math that we'd be talking about, okay? Uh, first, it says, uh, B, a worker received an 8% raise at the end of the first year on the job and another 8% raise at the end of the second year. The worker's total raise was 16% of the starting salary. Whenever you see a problem like this, it matches up with an exponential growth function. It looks like this, a times b raised to the x equals y. a is your initial value, your starting salary. Like, let's say they got paid $100, or they put $100 in the bank. And b, b, b is your growth rate or, or rate of decay. In this case right here, they're, gro they're increasing 8% a year, so I represent an increase of 8% a year as 1.08. This represents 108% of the initial value. X represents the number of years, so that would be 2. And Y would represent the salary after 2 years. With compound growth here, we're looking for it to be greater than 16%. 16% would be simple interest, which would mean we just take 8% of the initial value every year. And as everyone knows, if you're getting a salary, you want it to go up beyond the initial value. So it's going to be 8% of the first year, and then an additional 8% of the additional 8% from the previous year. So um, we'd be looking for something more than an 8% increase over the two years. All right? Uh, I'm hoping that's enough to say that uh, B is B's false. D is the answer. All right, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2016 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, Go Academy is holding a whole new round of workshops in math, science, English, and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL, and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Florida, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, and a couple other states. Check out our workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.